Digital First AI claims to be a revolutionary tool that solves any marketing problem for you, which means no more Fiverr gigs trying to spam your way to success. But seriously, Digital First AI is like your very own marketing expert. This tool shows you exactly what to do in order to grow your reach and in what order. Well, so they say. So in this video, I'll be taking a closer look to see if they pass the trust test. Then I'll be trying out the software to see if it really can create a marketing plan for me. And finally, I'll be taking a look at the pricing to see how this tool stacks up against the competition and as a bonus if none of this works out or even if it does i'll show you how to use one feature in first digital ai to generate a new income stream in around 60 minutes or less you'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video okay let's do this the first digital AI website is actually very well put together. A lot of thought has gone into this landing page. There's an explainer video, which is always helpful, and a live chat feature, which is excellent to see. And more impressive yet is the fact that there is no extreme use of copy here, no bold promises, just facts. Even the value proposition is presented as a simple fact. Advertising agencies always promise they will achieve your goal, but never explain how they intend to do so. Free yourself from this chaos and gain access to 500 plus marketing tactics. If you have a tool that can allegedly solve any marketing problem, you might just get carried away with the copy on your page, but these guys have managed to keep everything nice and clean. Good job. There's a company page where you can see the team, learn about their values and see what positions are available. That's always a good sign. The investors page tells you everything you want to know about the company, including the fact that they've had two rounds of investment and are currently in round three. Although the second round was really the two founders putting money into the company. I'm not sure that counts, but still it shows belief and commitment. If you want to know how to pitch to investors, study this page. It's great. Now let's put the tool to the test. In the tactics library, you'll find a growing number of marketing strategies. Some of these are classic strategies like remarketing, lead magnet and free sample. Up here, you can search for a specific tactic or you can choose a category like conversion, engagement, service, B2B. The user interface here needs a little bit of attention. The width of the category dropdown is limited by the next dropdown, which makes some of the options hard to read. If you swapped these two dropdowns around and shortened the search bar, you would get a better result. Just saying. The price dropdown lets you filter by paid and free tactics. That's very useful indeed. You also have a marketplace of freelancers providing marketing services. You'll find it hard to find one that's sharing a tactic though but you do have a library of real world tactics so maybe you don't really need to know what a random stranger is doing okay now let's create a funnel let's say it's for an online shop give the project a name and click save your marketing funnel is broken into stages and down here you have some handy links to the help center tutorials and faqs so let's start by creating a statement to let the ai understand the goal this is the template for the statement you simply fill in each blank for this example, I'm going to use an e-commerce store. I'm going to pretend that I'm selling a product, P2C for men, and I'll fill in these other bits. Now click next and choose the channels you own. Let's say blog, website, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and a newsletter. Click next and select the applicable. In this example, the customer purchase is online, it's an ad hoc payment, and it's a low margin product. Click save and finish. And here you have all the recommended tactics for this scenario. I'm going to choose the tactics I want to use and go with those. You can see the tactics I've chosen belong to the first stage of the funnel, which is the icebreaker stage. The other stages are empty, but I will handpick tactics for those in a moment. Click the dots to view a tactic, expand the section to read each step and read the purpose on the right. This particular tactic is to add a call to action button to the top of your landing page. If we pretend that my blog is the site in this project, you can see that I already have a CTA button at the top. So back in the funnel, mark the tactic as active and complete when done. Then move on to the next tactic. As I said earlier, you can manually add tactics to other parts of your funnel. Go to the tactics library, filter by the stage you want, and add the tactics you want to any part of the funnel you choose if you want to override the recommended one. In this way, you can access real world marketing tactics and add them to any part of your funnel for any marketing scenario. The funnel view and the ability to mark tasks as active or completed keeps your marketing plan organized. This helps you keep your mind free so that it can stress about lots of different things, but you won't be stressing about your marketing plan. So far, so good. But what about the pricing? How does this thing compare to the competition? Surprisingly, there is a free plan, although it has its limits, of course, and that includes no funnel management, which is 
is one of the main points of this tool. So realistically, you're looking at a basic or pro plan at $39 or $99 per month. A competing product is Funalytics, which boasts clients such as AppSumo, ClickFunnels, and oh my god, Danone. But you won't find a link to the pricing page in Funalytics. And if you dig around like I did and find it on the web, you'll discover that there is no pricing on the pricing page. Instead, there is an invite to get a demo. As the saying goes, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Which means that first digital AI is reasonably priced. Let's face it, $39 and $99 a month are pretty standard prices for SaaS products. And now for the good news, you can get first digital AI right now for a one-time cost for life in the AppSumo marketplace. There's a link to that deal in the description below this video. And if you're too late for this deal, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so that this never happens to you again. Okay, now for the bonus that I promised. Here's how to create a new income stream in around 60 minutes or less. One, sign up to a few freelance marketplaces like Fiverr, Upwork, People Per Hour and that kind of thing. Two, use First Digital AI to create marketing plans for your new customers. And if you happen to be a web designer or have a web agency of any kind, that's even better. If you have customers, just give them a free plan so they can see the value and then you can upsell them on more plans. And if you want to, you can even do the work yourself. First Digital AI's roadmap is pretty good and includes exporting funnels to PDF, which will make the job easier for you when it comes to giving or selling plans. A couple of upcoming features that caught my eye are AI landing pages and analytics integration. This is a good tool. It has good growth potential and I like the company's transparency. If you're actively growing your brand or you run a web agency of any kind, I think this tool is a no-brainer. Sub and I'll see you in the next video.